he's coming out of the hole. I'm going to help him out. No, he wants to go back in. <laughs> Let me back <laughs> in. This is Short Hills in New Jersey and this is a place where already in early May a few cicadas are beginning to emerge from the ground. Look, there's a hole here and there's another hole right here. So you can find lots of holes. I mean these are very circular holes here. aren't they? Yep, there's a hole here. That guy looks like he's gone. He's come out of his hole. And this is, so these holes are right, are they, the holes tend to be by a tree because they, they kind of suck on the... Actually they're from actually right down by the shed down there. There's yeah. probably like 50 holes. And they could be wherever. Just remember they eat the, from the roots and they can anywhere be from 2 inches to 24 inches into the ground for the last 17 years. So people want to know how do you get back into the holes? That is a good question. My, and I was told, here's the guy right here, see him? I was told that they get back into the ground the, after the eggs hatch, hatch, the eggs will fall down to the ground and since there's a lot of holes in the ground they just fall into the holes and they will just stay there until they come back. So that's a boy cicada. How do you know that's a boy? Because he says the way it's pointed right here. So what, where he's pointed at the end of his tail there? Yes, you can see that little point? Yeah, I think I can. Oh yeah, yeah. See that? What's that? That's the little boy. That's his his boy part. Yes. Oh, and the wow. girls like actually have a little pouch like where the eggs would be formed to okay. come out. And this is a little boy that when he's shed this exoskeleton, he comes out and he's got his red eyes and then he starts making a right racket basically. Yes, and he'll have wings. We actually have a picture of one of the cicadas in a case inside I'll have to show you. So the hardest thing right now is that until they get up onto the trees and get attached, birds like to eat them, deer like to eat them, squirrels like to eat them. So it's a very good year for those type of forest animals because they're going to be able to eat a lot, a lot of cicadas. Oh, so he's still moving. Yeah, this guy's good. So you don't mind picking them up or anything? They don't hurt you. They won't do anything. Dad, you could try one. <laughs> uh, maybe later. But what do you do? You do you remember that these kind of coming out before? This is 17 years, isn't it? Do you remember what they sounded like all together? You actually hear cicadas during the summer, and they will be a lot of cicadas. But this, because it's a 17-year brood, this will be very, very intense. So it'll be very, very loud. And just think, only half of them are making the noise because only the males make the noise. So is this how they come out? Like yes. Backwards. I find that most of the time they're coming out backwards. So, he, I mean, he looks kind of, he doesn't know what he's doing, does he? But he's... No, he's rather confused, I think. I think um, the expert said that they should usually not come out for another week. Yeah. And that he's not quite sure why. He goes, but he says maybe because we have such a large population of them that they're actually, look, here's one here. And one over here. So we have such a large population, a certain percentage will come out early and then you're going to be finding more and more in the next week to 10 days that we're going to be really overpopulated here. So you think a week to 10 days? Yeah, another week to 10 days, he says you're going to be swarming with cicadas. <laughs>